Welcome back to another episode of Soul Line Success. And today I'm going to talk to you on why clients are your mirror. So it's really important to understand that your business is a reflection of your inner consciousness. Everything is really. So working with the spiritual law of reflection is key when it comes to growing your spiritual business. And specifically today, I want to talk about your clients and the reflection that they have for you as a mirror during this process so that you can exponentially catapult your own ascension journey and as you do that you're raising your own inner vibration you're raising your frequency and then you're able to attract your soulmate clients but you may have some kinks to work out at the beginning especially if you're just starting and you're new to sales and you're new to getting on sales calls and you're sort of still um not truly confident in what it is that you're offering or you just one minute you are and the next minute you're not or maybe you're you're really suffering from imposter syndrome or you're really undervaluing your worth and I've already done episodes on that so if, if imposter syndrome or what I call prostituting your prices really undervaluing your worth and undercharging and stuff are an issue for you then I would recommend checking out those episodes but as you work out the kinks you're going to experience when you're working with clients that they are bringing to you a pattern and so you want to look for these patterns and this could be clients that are popping up on strategy calls with you like sales calls or whatever or they could be clients that you're already working with and so let's just share a couple of experience a uh, couple of scenarios here so one might be where you always have clients that are not valuing your boundaries and they're messaging you after hours or they're not showing up for appointments or they're missing appointments or they're like an hour late for appointments or something like that and then they're wanting to reschedule last minute and all of these kind of things. This is a reflection that you are not owning your boundaries and healthy self-honoring standards. And because of that, you're attracting clients that don't respect not only their own boundaries, but they're not going to respect your boundaries. And so this is inner work that you need to do in order to up level and then attract a new caliber of client. Another example that this might play out is you attract clients that bow out of your program early or they drop off or they stop doing the work or they quit you know you know uh quit investing in themselves in the program or whatever they stop showing up and yeah and they've just fallen off the map completely so they're not investing their time anymore they're not investing their energy anymore and they've fizzled out they faded away right this is a direct result of where you're not truly owning the value of your program and because or services and because you're not valuing your program or services you are attracting clients that do not value your program or services and so they may like start but they never finish they don't do the work and they don't get the results they may be showing up to you looking for a band-aid they may just want like a quick fix sometimes or they may just want someone to vent to all of their problems right but they're not ready to really invest in themselves and get a transformation and that's because you're not fully honoring the value and the transformation that you bring to the table and as a byproduct of this um uh on the tangible side you're probably very likely undercharging and undervaluing all at the same time which is what's calling in clients that are not really looking to invest in themselves and so then it just becomes this vicious cycle Another scenario this might play out is on actual like sales calls before their clients, right? So you might be seeing people pop up as a pattern on your calls and they have always issues with money and they don't, uh, they have a real lack mindset and they've just got a really like weird money story that's always holding them back and um, afraid to spend or invest in themselves. So it's always like a money related issue. Um, this is a direct reflection of where you are not really owning the value of your services. 
if you fully owned energetically the value of your services and your transformation that you bring to the table, you would attract in energetically a totally different frequency and caliber of client. You would, you would attract the person that is ready to do the work and to invest in themselves and to get the transformation and to get the results and doesn't bow out of the pro program early or quit early. They get results. Again, keep an eye out if it's a pattern, right? And it, so it all comes back to you. It all comes back to you being in alignment with your own inner alignment. So this is why I call this series Soul Aligned Success for a reason, because your business is a reflection of your own inner alignment. And when you come into inner alignment and you value your worth and you value your time and you value your services and you own your gift and you know that what you have is of massive value and you show up confidently with that, that is a total different frequency than showing up, you know, with imposter syndrome or showing up with not even really knowing if your gift is that valuable or having these thoughts like who's going to care and is this even important and should I even be doing this anymore? Does this even make sense? Nobody's listening. Like all of these kind of things showing up like that. Um, that energy underlying that kind of, um, that energy underlying that scenario is going to attract in clients that are like, oh, should I even do the work? Should I even show up? Like, is this even worth it? Is this even going to make a difference? That kind of thing. Like, so your clients are literally a mirror reflecting back to you and uh, your own alignment at this stage, which means if you, uh, whatever stage you're at. And so if you really look at it that way and you do the inner reflective work, just like I'm sure you do with everything else already as a spiritual teacher, healer, lightworker, coach, this is not a new concept to you, but I do often see coaches, teachers, and healers because the ego is really good at attaching to things outside of ourselves as the solution, as the band-aid quick fix, right? And so I call this shiny object syndrome where we just start reaching for other things to fix our business, right? Well, this isn't working. Maybe I need a new funnel. Maybe I should do Facebook ads. Maybe I need to do this platform. Maybe I should do live streams. Maybe I should do pre-recorded. Maybe I should do this. And you start looking at what everybody else is doing online and then you try to like copycat something and tweak it a little bit to make it your own and like now it'll work, right? This is what I call shiny object syndrome, where you're looking everywhere else except in here to grow your business. And this is the opposite of what you wanna be doing. If you wanna grow a successful business, especially a spiritual business, you already know that everything is a reflect, a reflective, a reflection for you, a mirror for you, right? So use these experiences, use the clients that are showing up to you to fine tune your own frequency and start here with your own inner alignment and your own ascension journey. And then you will catapult yourself forward with record speed because you are no longer um, allowing the limited belief structures or the programming or the lack mindset or the worthiness worthiness issues or anything like that to fall under your radar anymore. As soon as you shine a light on them, now you can shift them. Now you can come back into present moment awareness and operate from that space instead of buying into the story that your ego wants to tell you or buying into the belief systems. So that's a whole nother video. So I won't go into that on this video, but I just wanted to share with you um, a couple of techniques and strategies that have used me, um, that have been useful to me on my journey to really help catapult me forward um, and bust through limited belief structures and money mindset blocks and all of these things that tend to hold a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs back at the beginning of their journey. And so it all starts with the energetics. For me, it's 80% energy and 20% strategy. If you're looking for strategy outside of yourself to fix some of this stuff, that is not going to be the solution for you. It, everything is a reflection. Everything is a reflection of your own inner alignment first and foremost. So I hope this finds you well. If you liked this, then please check out my Soul Aligned Success Masterclass, which you can find in the in a link below this video, wherever you're watching it and shoot me a comment or let me know if you resonated with this. I'd love to hear from you. And until the next episode, I hope this finds you well.
Namaste.